The youngest formation that we've studied in the Kettleman Hills is called the Tulare Formation. And the zone that we've described is called the Amnicola Zone. And it's named for a very small uh, species of gastropod that you can barely see with the unaided eye. But when we find it in the Amnicola Zone, it's usually in these sandy units where it's just chocked full of the shell of that gastropod, of that snail, Amnicola, and it'll have other things as well, uh, other fossils within the sand, um, including small bivalves along with the gastropods. And sometimes we also find uh, larger bivalves, so not everything associated with that zone, the Anicola zone, is that small. But there is this particular uh, variety of bivalve that is also found associated with some of the units there, um, and then others that are more robust. So it's a very interesting zone uh, that occurs uh, just at the, um, in the, the youngest um, part of this geological area. And um, in addition to those small snails and uh, these larger bivalves, you also find uh, horizons with rock exposed where there's no shells left um, in the, the rock at all, um, uh, no shelly material, but what we see are molds. So all these little circular U-shaped lines that you see uh, in this particular rock, which is a limestone, uh, reflect uh, remnants uh, of uh, shell fossils that were here um, at one time. So when we examine fossils associated uh, with a zone, uh, we're typically looking at a variety of fossils that are found together. So when this area existed millions of years ago and there was a living community of organisms, there would have been a variety of animals that were all living together. And so as they fossilized, sometimes we find the remains um, of these organisms uh, in the form of the, the whole shell, um, but other times when we find them, you know, it may just be molds and casts or impressions. So no matter the state of preservation of the fossil, it's still very valuable to a paleontologist who's examining fossils in these zones um, to be able to find such an array of fossils.